I'm Ms. Artastic and in this video art tutorial we're going to be drawing a lovely sign, speaker and globe. Perfect for back to school. So grab those art making mediums and let's make some art. Alright, we're going to begin our back to school themed art project. First, we're going to be drawing a science beaker on this side, and then we're on the other side of our paper, the right side, we're going to be drawing a globe. So let's start on the left side of our paper, and we're going to draw a lovely little oval at the top. On either side of the oval, we're going to draw two curved lines down, and connect the bottom with another curving line. Next, we're going to draw two curved lines in. Then we're going to curve out and down. And then connect the bottom. I'm just going to draw a lovely little dashed curved line on the inside there just to indicate the glass edge on the other side of the beaker. Next, we're going to draw some sort of chemical or liquid inside our beaker. So I'm going to draw a nice little oval here where we can see the front edge of the liquid and then it on the opposite side of the container. I'm going to draw some little bubbles that are inching their way up and out of the beaker, getting bigger and bigger as they kind of rise up into the air there and these bigger ones we can add some curving triangles onto them for some shiny little highlights. And of course we can't do the smaller ones as they are just simply too small. I'm going to draw just a few little bubbles along the edge here and there on the inside of my beaker as well, leaving that nice little inside space for the face we're going to draw on our science beaker because of course all science beakers have cute little faces. Alright, next we're going to head on over and do the globe. So we're going to draw a very wonderful circle there for our globe. On the top and bottom of the globe we're just going to draw a little rectangle. And then we're going to draw a line that curves around from the top, got to move my hand, along to the bottom, just like that. That holds the globe and allows it to spin and we're just going to draw two little lines, one goes down, one goes up, and then we're going to draw the parallel line to hold to make the holder for our globe. Mine, of course, is going to go off the page ever so slightly, just like that. Then I'm going to continue and draw another rectangle and a little base for my globe, just like that. All right, I'm going to draw my face on my globe before I draw any continents around it. So here we go. I'm going to draw one curving line on this side and one curving line on this side. Draw a second parallel line to thicken up those winking eyes. And then we'll color in that line to thicken it up to make lovely little eyes for our earth globe that would be found in a classroom. Between the eyes, we're gonna draw a nice straight line. Connect the lines with a letter U, and then draw a lowercase letter M in the inside to create our tongue. Then you can go ahead and color in the dark of the mouth with a black to finish up our mouth on our globe. Perfect. 
correct. All right, I'm gonna draw the north and south pole with some wavy lines. And then you can draw whatever continents you want in the background, depending on where you are situated in the world. I'm just gonna draw a very simple, not at all accurate land formation there for my globe. All right, let's draw a lovely little face on our science beaker here. So I'm gonna draw two V shapes or brackets pointing inward. And then I'm gonna thicken up the lines by going over them a second time. And I like to hold my marker on its side to help me do that. Okay. Next, I'm gonna draw little cheeks under each eye with little ovals. I'm gonna draw a curved line on this side. And then a smiley face just like that with another curved line. And then I'm gonna thicken up those lines just so they have a little bit more contrast and stand out on my page. All right, and once you're done, we need to thicken up these lines to make them bold and beautiful. So I'm gonna grab a felt marker and I'm gonna go around just the outline only, both of my science beaker and my globe. That way I can clean up my lines, make them bold, beautiful, and of course, professional. All right, and once you're done, you are ready to color in both your globe and science beaker using your choice of colors and mark making medium. So grab your choice of colors and let's get going on coloring in our lovely little creations. All right, I'm gonna color in, mm, let's try this one. my liquid with a purple. And of course, you can feel free to use whatever colors you would like. And I'm gonna color in my bubbles with the green a little bit later. Okay, so you can go ahead and color in both your sign speaker and your globe.
I'm gonna use a blue to just go around some of my edges on my cyan speaker just for some blue shading instead of gray on the glass object. And then I'm gonna grab gray and I'm going to shade first the eyes on the sign speaker and the underside of the mouth. And then we're gonna shade the underside of the eyes on our globe, around the bottom of the mouth, around one side of the globe. And along the bottom. Of the bracket that holds it. Perfect. And once you're done, your lovely drawing perfect for back to school is done. Well, my lovely friends, that's the end of this episode. If you are looking for some more premium drawing tutorials that are exclusive to a course, check out my course, 100 Cartoons for Kids. You can find the link in the description of this video. It's just right under there. Just click it, head on over, check it out. It is a fabulous course that I have designed for anybody to use either at home or if you're a teacher, you can use it as your directed drawing program in your classroom. And it is all exclusive videos in that course and you can have a lovely um, opportunity to learn fabulous cartoon drawings drawing 100 different things at the price of one dollar per video and there are no YouTube ads uh, so make sure you check out 100 cartoons for kids art which is at www.artasticcollective.com forward slash 100 or check out those the uh, link in the description of this video well See you next time.